Hello there. I'm someone and you... And... No. What, what am I doing? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You are someone and I'm someone else. And today, we're going to be talking about the stupid, stupid people at Easy Pass. Okay? I set up my account, my account on AutoPay. Guess what they did as soon as I set it up uh, a month ago? This week, they decided to get rid of AutoPay. Now, I don't know my account number because, again, I don't use it that often. I found my account number. Then they said I couldn't use my account number. Then they said I need to call the phone number. And then they said I had to wait 85 minutes just to get a phone number, the phone call. So, what I'm going to say to you, easy pass, mother chuckers, okay? Do not get rid of auto pay. I literally set it up so I didn't have to worry about that. And yet you guys are now blaming me, giving me a negative balance because every time I do auto pay, it's like 25. It's not even that much. I probably should have done more. And not only that, now I'm being charged extra because the auto pay stopped working for Maryland. Okay, I hate this state. This state is awful. Do not move to Maryland, guys. If you're if you hate rules, if you hate the authoritarian government, why would you move to Maryland? The only reason I'm here really is because my family moved here and it, it was economically in, in, in Tavis to move here. It was economically better for me to move here than any other state right now. But I'm stuck in this authoritarian state and I feel so bad. Like Maryland is not a nice state. I have had so many regulations being pushed onto me. Massachusetts was actually, surprisingly, Massachusetts was a little bit easier, actually. I think because Massachusetts is a little less, well, a little less people. Although I could be, no, probably is more now I think about it. They have more electors, whatever. Anyway, Maryland has done things so messed up. They got building E for building A, and it's like, I'm just like, what? what's wrong with you guys? What is wrong with my state? I honestly don't know. I mean, I haven't lived here for that long. I've only lived here for a few months, and I'm like, what the heck is going on? Nobody's telling me anything. My boss doesn't even know what, what, where I'm doing. She's like, I don't know if you're working on Thanksgiving. Are you working on Thanksgiving? I don't know. Oh, my God. My camera's a mess. Oh, wow. That is really bad. Anyway, guys, if you're going to move, don't move to an authoritarian hellhole. Okay, don't move to authoritarian hellhole. Don't make the same mistake that I did and assume that everything was going to be a-okay. In fact, I would recommend you move to East Europe because at this point, the United States is not going to be better. It's not. The United States is going to get worse. If if we continue on the current trajectory that we are, which, by the way, getting rid of auto pay is an inheritance. I didn't even set that up. They got rid of it for me. I did that so I didn't have to worry about it. And now I have to worry about it. And now the phone doesn't work because now everybody's auto pay is off in Maryland. I'm just so, I'm so dumbfounded. And now I have to wait over two hours for a phone call that I could be spending my day enjoying instead of stressing out over a negative, you know, statement. Because I literally made sure that wasn't going to happen. And yet now it did happen. I assumed, you know, if you set up auto pay for your bank account, that it would work. But no, it doesn't work. I have just... What the heck, guys? I'm so dumb. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. This state has has ruined me. I really, really have seen way too much. And I really want to get out now. That I've... Now that I know that everything is messed up. And the insurance bill is way too high. I can't wait until I, you know, turn a different age so I don't have to pay that much insurance. and. Man, it is expensive being young. I've I've realized that how are you guys supposed to go to college when literally every single bill is attached to your car and your car is like an expensive thing. If you could afford not to go to get get to work and you could just walk to work, do that. There's no reason to get a car. The only reason I got a car is because I was kind of forced to and, you know, I don't really like driving. It's really a nightmare. Um, but if you could, you know, in my opinion, actually just become a trucker right now if you have a license. I'm a trucker and then, you know, make money with that skill. Because driving is semi a skill in this economy at this point. 
But until the Autumn Mason comes and takes this over, which I hopefully will come soon because this is freaking ridiculous. This this shouldn't have happened. They shouldn't have gotten rid of my auto pay. They should have just kept it. Just keep the auto pay on. I set it up for that particular reason. I literally have signed into the website 20 times. I, I don't know, guys. I want them all to hug anteaters. That's what I want. Hug all anteaters. Hugger of all anteaters, you know. They, they slice a few arteries. It doesn't matter. The giant anteaters are like the perfect creature for these people. These, these easy pass toll people to be hugging. I don't know who's in charge of the easy pass. Some government, probably. Some authoritarian Maryland government that doesn't represent me. Because I don't know who my state representatives are. I've never seen them. I've never called them. And uh, that might be a big issue, actually. But, guys, do, every single thing that you have has been taken away from you at this point. They're, they're, we fought a war against this in, in 1776. Uh, in, you know, and, in, and in 1812, by the way, about taxation. You know? We shouldn't be taxed anymore. We should get rid of this. All right, income tax, get rid of it. We our money is already being taxed by inflation. Why should we have to pay for more? But you know what? The tolls, I guess there's a there's a good explanation for it. You know, you you are using the tolls. So I mean, maybe you should get taxed more than the people who aren't using the tolls. But at some point, you have to draw the line at what is a common sense thing to do. Make sure they can't use auto pay, or uh, just overcharge them because they're not using auto. Like what the heck? I literally set it up. So, anyway, guys, I was really mad, and this is a rant about why you should never move to Maryland and why you should never use Easy Pass in Maryland. And if you, and I have to go through the bridge to get to work because if I don't go through the bridge, there's no way to go to work. So, anyway, that's the authoritarian world we live in. So, keep that in mind. Big Daddy government's always watching you. Remember that, kids. Okay? Remember that. Remember that you are someone and I am someone else. And I'm angry at the world. And there's no, there's not much that you could do to fix that, my anger. My anger is always going to be there. It's always going to be really, really angry. Eastern Europe, I, in my opinion, because they're so poor, they can't do anything. You know what I mean? You move to Eastern Europe, you're A-OK. -okay. They speak English. I honestly think you should just move to an English-speaking country in Eastern Europe. Do not go to the United States. If you live, or I don't know if you live in the United States or you're thinking about moving to the United States, guys, it's not a freedom-loving country anymore. It's gone. It's it's gone. They they got rid of auto pay. They, they literally lied to me. They said, oh, the auto pay is going to work. And then, you know, it doesn't. So, okay? When people lie to you over and over again, it becomes like there is no freedom because you, there's no rule of law anymore. It's just gone, you know. And that was the one thing in this country that was good is the rule of law, and that's gone. Everything that you loved in your childhood is all gone. There's nothing. There's nothing. You 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 can't fix it. Computers have taken over the stock market. You know. You you. There's nothing you can do. You you have no. You have no. Everything's a robot now. You talk to people out in the streets. And you, you just see how miserable their lives are by the state that just surrounds them every single day. And Maryland is a perfect example of a hellhole. Keep that in mind. Next time you move to a state like I did and didn't know what the policies were, didn't know the rule of law, didn't know anything, keep that in mind, guys. Even if you don't know the language, just try your very hardest to fit in, but also try to make sure you could protest legally so you don't get hurt <laughs> like i did i got hurt so don't get hurt okay i want you guys to be more successful than everybody else if you're dyslexic prove them wrong you know i might be i might not be able to read but i'm sure that there's there's some like i'm super dyslexic right barely barely spell anything i barely spell anything i'm smarter than probably I'm going to say 90% of the population based on the fact that I know the numbers of the stock market more than anybody else. I believe people who know the stock market and know the numbers behind it can get easily wealthier than anybody else, in my honest opinion. Now, I don't, 
I can't, I'm not very good at explaining the stock market. I'm actually extremely terrible at it, which is why I do it all by myself. I don't want to manage anybody else's money. So keep that in mind, guys. Like, if you're dyslexic or if you struggle in a world like I do, they're not going to help you. You're going to be stuck in this authoritarian hellhole and you have to figure out a way to survive in it. That's my, that is my video for today. So remember that you are someone and I'm someone else and I am just documenting my experiences in this hellhole as we know as Earth and how we exist all in it. The economy is not for you, it's for the whims of all the other people that have existed throughout all of time. So keep that in mind, guys. Goodbye.